Linux name is Unit Converter. Its purpose is to help users to convert different units, for example, from kilometers to meters or etc. So the four units it converts is length, mass, volume, and area. Let's try volume. So we have here cubic meter, cubic foot, liter, and cubic centimeter. Let's try entering the value. And the answer is printed here. The way these codes work is that we import a tkinter library, which is a library responsible for creating interface like this that has a drop-down menu and etc. So first we create the window. We create the size, the color, the title, and create the window itself. And then we describe every font that we are going to be using in our project. Font 1, font 2, font 3. And they're all the same font and same bold but their font size is different then we create unit options which are responsible for these four unit options then we have length options which are all here mass option volume option area options they're all dictionaries or they're all lists which python refers to there are three variables here one is responsible for the unit we're converting the other one is responsible from the from value, and the last one is responsible for the to value. There is also another va variable, which is here, which is the converted or no, not the converted value, the value entry, which we enter here, which I will talk about further. Then we define the convert function. First, we give a dictionary of length factors. Then, in the code, we have different different if if conditions for example if we have equal to length we use this length factors then by using the two equations we will get the final answer the converted value so the float value entry is what we enter here we multiply it by length factors and then we divide we multiply it by the length factors which we input into variable 2 which is here. And then we will divide the value we get here by the length factors we get into this value. And mathematically calculating it works properly. So here we put the meters value, which is one to the value we need. So for example, one meter is 0 0.01 centimeter. We multiply it by that and we get centimeters equal to one. And then we simply divide by the length factor we have in variable 3. And all the same happens for the mass, volume, and area. And so here is the result label as well, which is this part here, which prints the result. And then we print different the title label, for example. Unit converter is printed with font 1, which is 30 size with a text color of white and a background color of dark blue. As you can see, it's blue here. Then we have a unit label, which is this one. It's a, it's a CTK label, but also then it's a CTK combo box when we press it here. So the label is this part, this combo box is this. Then it's the from, is the same thing as here. We have a label and option. Option is these options, and label is the label, like meter, and the from title. Then we have the two label, same here. This is the two label and this is the combo box below. So combo box label, combo box label. And then we have the value label, which is uh, also a label, but also has a CTK entry. It doesn't have, it has a name, but it's hidden somewhere here. It should say value. And then we have the convert button. So it also has some. It has a command assigned to it, which is the convert command we had up, up this one. And then the f this color is red, but when we hover, it becomes orange. The background color is red. These edges, and the cursor is this hand. And this is the placement actually. All of these dot place are places where they are located on the x and y axis in pixels. Then we have the update options. You might notice that when I switch to volume, it automatically switches. It, we don't have millimeters here in volume. This is what this function does. So if we have label as variable 1, 
and then the value length will be val length options and the two option also will be length options and we set the f so when we switch for example to length the first option is meter, meter and foot the second one, the two and the same happens for mass, area and volume the same code but different options like area option, mass option and different values as well we set and then here we just tr make it trace so follow this code the update options every time we switch and that's pretty much it and then in the end we have a main loop which repeats the code mean which means when we press the convert button it doesn't stop the code it can do more than one conversion infinitely many and I think that while making this project I used didn't really use my time wisely but even though the code is successful because first of all I started off by doing this I define millimeters cubic meter what each is which is what which I have now in my code but however I couldn't find a way to use uh, the things that I wrote here in a Python code so I decided to define every conversion as one different function so meter to centimeter centimeter to meter that's all very two different functions I thought that's a very long cone it's not very productive for me to do this so I went on the internet and found a way to use dictionaries dictionaries is what I made here I have these options and also I have options with in the defined convert function here this is a dictionary, it shows what is the value of each. And so this helped me to write the convert code and then the other things I created using tkinter. First of all I wanted to use turtle library, but then I thought tkinter is better because it's easier to write the label, the combo box, so I thought it's really easy to use. And finally the changes I made to my plan is I already said. I was doing many multiple changes to way, the way I write the code. First of all, I wanted to use Turtle. Then Mr. Misut and I found some tutorials where we thought TKinter is better to use. And I stick to TKinter. However, then I encountered another problem where I couldn't use what I wrote here as a way to... I couldn't find the code to, use, to input this information into. So I decided to write every function separately. But then finally, I thought that it will be a lot simpler if I find a solution. So I found dictionaries on the internet and how to use them. And that's how I made my code. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.